welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm d today i'm just gonna give you a quick garden tour of everything that i've got going on in my backyard now i hope that you can hear me and not the turnpike this is my backyard over here we have some watermelons and as you can see the grass is super thick under the watermelon now, uh, the last time I thought I was helping the watermelon, I lifted all of the leaves up and we mowed under it. So tip number one, watermelons are so sensitive. They don't like that at all. Like, as you can see now, they're thriving pretty well. But up here is very skimpy, very skimpy. I upset them a whole lot. So if you're growing watermelons in your backyard, do not mow under them, just let it be. Here we have chives. I have chives in all four, or all three corners. Sorry, that one is contained with a man. Here we have some green peppers. And I'm actually going to pick this green pepper because I want to use it, or I thought I wanted to use it and he's no good. So, but I have a bunch of green peppers growing in here. This is okra. As you can see there, trying to be in little okra. This is a big beef tomato and it has been rigged every way possible, but it is still thriving and doing great. This is my first year ever having a garden, so I'm still learning. These are cantaloupes, so first it'll flower and then it'll fruit. So that's why you see all the little flowers in there. This butte is a jalapeno tree. All these jalapenos, they get hotter. But I just think that's just so fun to look at all the little baby jalapenos. And these are pumpkins, farm fresh pumpkins. So you'll definitely have to stay tuned. Hopefully we will have some pumpkins before October. So my babies will be able to harvest them. Onto over here, this is a blueberry tree. And it, yes, it's gonna take like four or five years to grow, but it's doing great right now. Some flowers, they bloom and die like daily, I swear. These are some peas. Honestly, I should have put them over on the fence where that empty spot was, is where they were going to go. Um, I moved them away because I didn't want them to fry, but now it's just a big mess. This is lettuce, cute little, little lettuce sign. Another, another green pepper bush. I think that's the only one on there. This is a grape tree, grapes also gonna take like a four or five year process that's strawberries it's still green but there's no berries on there i'm just letting it keep there because it's still green now this is my fruits and vegetables that are trellising up i need to come out and tend to my garden obviously just wanted to do a quick garden tour but here's that and this thing is a uh, actually pretty strong you can see it's dangling, but up here it's a, uh, might take over soon. Some Roma tomatoes. More tomatoes. These are both tomatoes. This is a straight eight cucumber, I believe. Like I said, first it flowers and then it'll fruit. So here's the fruit. There's some more in there. Two little guys and this one is half watermelon and half let's see honeydew melon I believe yep a honeydew melon so this one is a honeydew melon and then these ones with the littler leaves are the watermelon I don't think I have any of those on there yet but everything has intertwined so honestly I'm just waiting for it all to grow out 
Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like I said, I need to come out and tend to the garden, but quick garden tour. Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching.